We welcome you into another playoff edition of Friday Night Blitz. Thanks for being with us. I'm Brandon Kennard. Some great games tonight, including one incredible finish that you've got to see to believe. We'll get to that in a second. But first, we head to Menasha, the Blue Jays hosting Notre Dame in our sports showdown game. We'll start in the first quarter. Devontre Smith of Menasha. Untouched, six-yard touchdown run to put the Jays up 7-0. Second quarter, here he is again. This is a third and two. Looks like he's bottled up, but Smith escapes, and he is off to the races. 90-yard touchdown run. Manasha up two scores, 14-0. Notre Dame with the answer. Short touchdown from the fullback. Braden Curtin makes it 14-6, but Smith takes over from there. Here he goes again, 73 yards this time down the left sideline. Menasha back up by two scores. That man was on a mission tonight and he was not done. These are not replays, folks. These are different plays. Devontre Smith bounces it outside and there he goes up that same sideline. This one, 71 yards. An incredible game as Menasha wins and advances 43-27. Here's Rachel Hopmeyer. Menasha easily defeated the Notre Dame Academy Tritons, but their offensive output was carried on the shoulders of senior running back Devontra Smith, who tallied three season highs for himself. 30 carries for 393 yards and four touchdowns. Smith also made his third two point conversion of the year tonight and credits his O line with the opportunity to have a more productive role on the gridiron this season. Um, it's a great feeling. You know, I couldn't do it without my offensive line. And at the end of the day, just getting after it in practice and just being the best I can be each and every week. In the spring, I suffered an ACL tear, so you know I wasn't really at my full potential and I was limited carry. So just coming out in the fall and just being able to give my best performance every game is just a great feeling. Menasha dumped 43 points on Notre Dame Academy for the second time this year, and the Blue Jays boost their winning streak to six games. They'll take on Luxembourg Casco in the Level 3 playoff game next week. In Menasha, Rachel Hopmeyer, NBC 26 Sports. 393 yards. That's a career for a lot of people. And Rachel Menson, they'll play LC next week. The Spartans with a big win over Wapaka tonight, that LC Menasha game. Whew, that's going to be a good one next week. To Division 4 now, Freedom and Little Shoot. Low scoring game in the first half. Tied up at three at the break, but bombs away in the third quarter. Jamison Rudy up top to Gavin Greiner. Nice pitch and catch that gives the Irish a 10 to 3 lead. Later, the Mustangs, they get a stop here on a fourth down. Freedom actually converts, but Little Shoot forces the fumble. Little Shoot would score a field tech tag on a field goal from there. And the fourth quarter, here comes the dagger. That's Gavin Griner again, gets the interception and the score. Freedom advances 17 to 6, the final. Appleton North and Nina. Lightning led as always by Cal Martini, their big running back, and here he goes around the edge. Fired up and has a message for his coach. Run that play every time, he says. Well, if it works. They didn't do it though. That was Matthew Reichel scoring to put North on the board. Second quarter, Nina responds. How about the jump pass there? Tim Tebow would be proud. The Rockets get on the board. Later, they're on the move, but that pass broken up and picked off. Trent Mullen with the PBU. Brock Arndt takes it the other way, all the way back to the goal line. And hey, remember what Cal told the coach? Every time, powers into the end zone. Appleton North beat their conference rival, 28 to seven the score, and they will play the winner of this one. Kimberly hosting Chippewa Falls. Long trip over for Chip Falls from the western part of the state. First quarter, Caden Pendleton had to get off to his running back. And there's a touchdown for the Makers, seven nothing. Still in the first quarter, they go to Oberman on the ground again. And this time, he scores again. Makers up 14 nothing, and then their defense starts doing its thing. Early second quarter, Sean Barant gets the sack. All Kimberly here, 35-13, so they'll get a rematch with Appleton North next week. Another good game. Bayport and Marquette, University School of Milwaukee. First quarter, this is a fourth down after a long Pirates drive. Cole Benson 
somehow breaks through the pack and takes it all the way. 37-yard touchdown. Bayport goes up 7-0. First possession for the Hilltoppers. Luke Novotny off the pump fake hits Nick Fergie. That's Fergalicious. Long play there. Sets up a touchdown to tie it at 7. Bayport, they can do that too. Benson to Sam Barry. Hope your dad's feeling okay, Sam. 37-yard touchdown. Bayport takes the lead, and they never trailed again. The Pirates win big, 49-14. All right, here's the game of the night. Division two, Bayport and Hartford. This game was insane. Second half, this is on a fourth down. Gabe Herman around the edge, and off he goes. 39 yards for the junior quarterback. That ties the game at 22. Less than a minute to play in the game now. It's still tied. Quentin Hornada emerges from the pack here and scores to put Hartford up with 40 seconds left. So last chance for DePier. They end up with an untimed down. Herman to Grant Hodel, who laterals to Jack May for the touchdown. The old hook and ladder ties the game and forces overtime. Hartford gets it first. They punch it in to go up a touchdown. So the very first play of DePier's possession. Herman, boy, this looks familiar, doesn't it? All the way home. And instead of kicking the extra point for the tie, DePier goes for two in the win. Michael Alexander can't handle it there. On the bad exchange on the handoff, Hartford gets the stop. DePier, man, what an unbelievable performance. But they lose a heartbreaker. So Hartford will come back up to Northeast Wisconsin next week. They'll play Pulaski in level three. The Red Raiders beat Slinger 10-7 to tonight. I'm still catching my breath from that DePier game. That was incredible. We've got